Good evening, everyone. Good evening, FSY family. We are so happy to have you now for our first virtual gathering or reunion. We would like to express our gratitude, of course, sa inyong lahat for joining us today in our live Facebook and also for joining us in our Zoom. Yes, this is so exciting. Yes, so thank you also to Elder and Sister Tobias. Napakagandang welcome remarks at napaka-spiritual. We really felt yung spirit at yung love niyo po sa lahat po sa amin. And we would also like to thank yung mga FSY um, staff namin for helping us to make this event uh, possible. And we hope everyone to uh, join us not only this day but for the whole of five day na FSY reunion natin virtually. Yeah, that will be daily from July 1st to July 5th, that's Sunday. So we're going to gather at 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Yes. So we would like also to congratulate everyone sa inyong mga milestones since no FSY natin two years ago. Exactly two years ago today. Yes, so Sister Mary Emmanuel Barala showed us kanina yung mga milestones ng ating mga FSY staff. So for the next day, day two to five, we're going to also watch some milestones ng mga participants. Yes, we're managing yung mga activities na nangyari, five days during that FSY natin. So we would like also to congratulate yung mga graduate ng uh, K-12. Congratulations sa inyong mga achievement, yung mga graduate sa college. And those who are working right now, congratulations. And those who finish seminary. Yes, and institute. and institute. Sa mga parents who are watching, congratulations. At ganyan din, congratulations those who are serving on the mission, and those who are preparing, and those who have planned to serve on the mission. And we also congratulate our staff who already are married. Mm -hmm. And also planning to have their babies. Yes, and those who are waiting, okay? Brother Wilben and Sister Reina, congratulations. Brother and Sister Balsita, congratulations. At sa lahat ng mga kinasasa temple again, congratulations. And we also congratulate uh, a couple from our uh, logistic team. Yes. Brother and Sister Honrales for your baby. Yes. And of course, yan hindi natin makakalimutan, congratulations kay President and Sister Lee who are now serving in Philippines Naga Mission. Yes, in Mission Paris Naga, Naga Mission. And thank you po elderly for, for uh, giving us a time. So tomorrow we will be listening to Elder, to President and Sister Lee. Yes. So today we are so happy to talk about a topic that is really dear to us. So, I'm going to share my screen right now. So, here we're going to talk about revisiting your goals and refining your vision. Yes. So, as you remember, in your participant's uh, handbook or manual, you wrote there some of your goals during our FSY conference. So, Mayon, we will know and we will be reminded that until you know where you want to go, you'll never be able to decide how to get there. Exactly. Are your goals still fresh in your mind? Or have you forgotten them already? <laughs> you know what? This isn't unusual. We get so caught up in goal setting at the start but we're often out of alignment with what we wanted with our vision. Well, now's a great time to reacquaint yourself with that, with what that vision was during our FSY. Now is the perfect time to refine your vision. All right, so connecting our goals to our purpose in life helps make our daily life more meaningful. This increases our ability to persevere no matter what happens around. Nothing can ever hinder us from moving forward, not even this pandemic. So goals reflect the desires of our hearts and our vision of what we can accomplish. 
Through goals and plans, our hopes are transformed into actions. What are your ultimate goals, brothers and sisters, dear friends? These are the things you care about the most. These goals give meaning and purpose to your life. Our goal should be to feel the measure of our creation as sons and daughters of our Heavenly Father. That is, to reach exaltation and eternal life. That is our ultimate goal. Right. And being a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, there are so many blessings and joyful things that come from our membership. When we are baptized, we receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That gift provides us guidance and direction. It helps us repent and be clean and changes our lives. These blessings are as a result of living on the covenant path. As you can see here, or living faithfully according to the covenants we've made and will make, and doing the things that help us stay faithful. So what are these covenant paths? They include being baptized, being confirmed, and receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. For young men, being ordained to the Iranian priesthood, and then once they are at least 18, to the Melchizedek priesthood, receiving the temple endowment. So covenants with God help us know who we really are. With each covenant, we promise Heavenly Father to strive to live as He has asked us to. As we do, He promises we can have His Spirit to be with us and guide us. So, brothers and sisters, as we faithfully follow the covenant path, we'll end up doing a lot of things that can help us grow and enjoy life and be happy. Our dear beloved youth, and those who are listening right now, now make lower goals that support your ultimate goals. Ultimate goals are general, but lower goals are more specific. People have ideas for things all the time, but only a few of them turn into success stories. Why? The problem with our goal sometimes is that even though it is specific, it lacks purpose. There is no reason to do it. You just see everybody doing it. Make goals and focus your energy on the things that matters most. Yeah, so marami nga no, sa atin ngayon na, because we see everyone doing it especially in social media, mm -hmm. a lot of people have different goals, but the problem is it lacks purpose. So as members of the church, we, we have the guide that we need. Like, kung ano yung mga dapat natin na i-focus. And we also have the, the guidance of our local leaders, our church leaders, our leading prophets and apostles. So we are so blessed to have those guys in our life. Yeah, sometimes nga, sabi natin, it's really important to have goals, but we should remember that we should choose worthwhile goals, something that will help us get to where we really want to go. Yes, or exactly. what we really want to be. Because eventually, if you have goals, you will really achieve it if you are persistent in achieving it. Again, let us always be reminded that kailangan naka-align yung ginagawa natin ngayon for our ultimate goals. Kung hindi siya naka-align, then we need to make another goals or new goals, new plans na kailangan natin start or gawin. Yes. And? You can also make other worthwhile goals. Exactly. You can have other worthwhile goals like you can consider what you are passionate about or what you would like to become passionate about. Mm -hmm. Often, your passion changes over time as you develop your interest in trying new things. Especially when you, when you come home from the mission, the things that you are doing Prior to our mission, pagbalik nyo, gusto nyo ng iba because of the uh, growth that you have learned on your mission. So our passion and interest really develop over time. Yes. So your, your interest when you're in high school might be different after college or after mission. So the, the most important thing is that you are enjoying what you're doing yes. and you are 
doing your best to achieve it. Because it's really nice to already start achieving your goals like practicing music, doing good at sports. Because when you're already married, you won't have enough time to practice <laughs> yeah. them. You will just enjoy them, but not that much. And we're so happy seeing mm -hmm. the uh, social media, you mga youth natin, sharing their talents for music, mm -hmm. singing, dancing. Uh, continue in, the, uh, in doing that. You are inspiring us and all those who are watching, especially this time of pandemic, na hindi kayo mahalabas. So uh, that would be the perfect time for us to share our talents. We can our, we can or we are sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ by sharing our talents of the things that we're doing right now. So that can be one of our worthwhile goals. Exactly. So we put here some other worthwhile goals that you can actually consider. For example, you want to serve God, we can serve our Heavenly Father in Jesus Christ through our skills in music, especially in worshiping. And also, how about reading and other stuff? You can see here a lot of uh, suggestions, yes. but now that we already know where we are going, mm -hmm. what were the goals we have, we should have plans or tactics on how we get there. Okay, so remember the story of Nephi when they were asked to actually get back the, bre the brass blades from the event. That was their purpose, that was their goal. Sarah, the Lord did not give them a specific plan how to get the brass plates back. So you are going to, that is a part of our growth here in mortality. We make our own tactics mm -hmm. on how to achieve our goals. So we call that tactics on how to get there. Exactly. Sometimes there are opposition or the, uh, um, among nice struggles. But if we, if we uh, ask help from the Lord, from our Heavenly Father, just like Nephi, mm -hmm. he received inspiration at naging successful yung pagkawa nila ng brass plates. Yes, so what you need now is a goal statement that can be visible to you at all times. Maybe you have a whiteboard or a bulletin board. Wherever you put your list of goals, it needs to be in place. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can revisit it often. Yes. Right. Napakahalaga na naririmind tayo everyday. Pag-gising natin, naririmind tayo of our goal. Yeah. And uh, you have to make sure that, okay, remember the SMART goals. I know you have already studied that SMART goals. Mm -hmm. So what really matters when it comes to that list of goals is tracking your, your progress. So are you close at to achieving your goal. So we are taught many small and simple things in the gospel of Jesus Christ can lead to um, greater things, right? So these might be small things, like they, they might be too small to measure on a daily or even a monthly basis, but it's effect over time was incredibly powerful for us doing this like tracking our progress putting our goals where we can see them mm -hmm. and also yeah writing them yes napakahalaga to yeah for me yeah mahalaga na physical we uh, lalo na marami tayong time ngayon may mga pwede tayong i-cut out dyan or you use our uh, artistic instinct so let not that. Well, we can use our our mobile devices to remind us. Pero sometimes mas maganda kung physical kasi pagising natin, nakikita natin kaagad yung gusto natin gawin at on track ba tayo? Okay? Right. Yeah. So I agree with that. And we also mentioned of this ultimate goal, diba? So our ultimate goal or our lower goal should be aligned to our ultimate goal. So for example, going on a mission or serving a mission, ano yung mga lower goals natin to achieve being a successful missionary? Yeah, we should be attending seminary and institute. And at the same time, we are reading our scripture dapat. Kasi yun yung araw-araw na gagawin natin. 
to share the gospel of Jesus Christ because it's really hard to share the gospel of Jesus Christ kung hindi natin to alam, hindi natin alam yung gospel niya. So they should be divided or broken down to the task that you will do every day. So daily scripture reading, daily prayer to achieve your goal to become a good missionary and the, or to finish college for yes. example that is your lower goal and how are you going to achieve that you have to list there the things that you are going to do on a daily basis on a weekly basis monthly basis or yearly basis mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah exactly this time um napakarami nating oras i know for sure na gagawin yan okay mm -hmm. but don't feel uh, feel pressure okay baka na pressure tayo we can just set uh, an, an hour a day, para hindi tayo ma pressure, baka naman isipin natin na, oh, it will take a lot of time. An hour or 30 minutes a day, actually napakalaking time na yan to, to, to grow. Okay? To grow. So, uh, kinakailangan natin na we should have a daily activities following on that ultimate goal na gusto natin ma achieve. The problem with our goal sometimes is that even though it is a specific, it lacks purpose. Tama nga naman ni ba? It really lacks purpose. There is no reason to do it. You just see everybody doing it. Sometimes sayang nga nakikita natin sa social media. Uy, ginagawa nila to. Gusto ko rin. Gusto ko rin maging trending. Lalag-lalag na napakarami ngayon. Nag-face like, like up or anything. So, kinakailangan. This is something you can only find through reflection. Asking those deeper questions questions and being honest with yourself so this is a time again to reflect and review mm -hmm. yes if you remember every night during our FSY conference you had the time to reflect and review so this is the time you have a lot of time right now mm -hmm. kayo mahalabas, to reflect and review on the things that you have to work on yes yun yung gusto gusto namin part na yung Ngayong, uh, 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 quarantine, my time to reflect and review the things ko na yung um, nangyari. And actually, we love um, mm -hmm. staring yung, um, yung stars in the evening. So, and then thanking God sa, sa creation, sa lahat ng bagay. At the same time, um, pondering kung ano yung uh, mga bago na kinakailangan namin uh, na improve. Yeah, though it's really hard, especially this pandemic, sometimes we are hopeless, like, may mm -hmm. mangyayari pa ba, like, uh, is there a future? Kasi nga, di ba, we are uncertain of the things that will happen. But remember, this is the most important uh, thing. Yes, so refining your vision and revisiting your goals is a way to commit yourself and to accept what it is that you want. It's also a way to be clear on how you're going to get there and mapping out how it's going to happen. Yeah, kahit na minsan, you cannot see the light. Mm -hmm. Especially this time I have mentioned a while ago. Especially this time na hindi nga natin alam kung may mga solution pa ba sa problems natin. If your parents lost their, their jobs or yung kanilang business ay struggling right now, makakabalik pa ba tayo sa school, or a lot of things are going on in our mind. Pero, let us all be reminded of uh, the importance of our faith. Faith in our Savior Jesus Christ. And also, have more confidence in yourself than allowing your decisions to happen just by chance. Like, let it go muna until na malip yung MCQ, I'll think about it later, or like that. <laughs> Only true faith that we can have hope of things na hindi natin nakikita. Mm -hmm. Through our faith, we can say that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, and we are also very happy that we are going to have a special guest mm -hmm. to conclude our event on Sunday. Yes. The manager of the FSY Conferences International and also the priesthood and family department, the brother, brother Beck. Mark Beck. So he will be talking about faith in Jesus Christ and faith in the unknown. So please 
attend until the end of yes. our event. So right now, whether you are a student or sa mga staff natin or we're already working, employed, you have responsibilities. Many of us here are actually carrying the load of assisting our family to survive, to have food, clothing, and shelter. It is even harder during this pandemic. But no matter what our situation, we know that Heavenly Father has asked us to have faith. We have faith that everything will be all right. Okay? And so, in Alma chapter 32, verse 21, it says here, If ye have faith, ye hope for things which are not seen, which are true. Faith is a principle of action and power. So we have faith that we will get we will get paid for our work, that we will be safe on the road, and that our loved ones will continue to support us. So relying on our faith can help us overcome unforeseen obstacles, brothers and sisters. And so whenever you work toward a worthy goal, you exercise faith and you have hope. You show your hope for something that you cannot see. Having faith in Jesus Christ means relying completely on Him and trusting in His power, intelligence, and love. It includes believing His teachings. It means believing that even though you do not understand all things right now, He does. Because He has experienced all your pains, afflictions, and infirmities. He knows how to help you rise above your daily difficulties. Above our daily difficulties. We know that He is always ready to help us as we remember His plea. Look unto me in every thought, doubt not, fear not. In conclusion, I would like to share with you this beautiful scripture, which is found in 3 Nephi chapter 27, verse 27, when Jesus Christ said, Therefore, what manner of man ought he to be? Verily I say unto you, even as I am. Our dear Savior Jesus Christ is counting on us. I testify that God lives. Jesus is the Christ. He is our Savior and Redeemer. I testify that He loves each and every one of us. He knows what we are going through, our weaknesses, our trials can help us. I also testify that this is the true Church of Jesus Christ. I am grateful to Prophet Joseph Smith who restored this true Church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I also testify that we have a leading prophet, President Russell M. Nelson, who guides us and directs us this last day. We love you. You are always in our prayers. Let us continue to strengthen one another and continue in our journey towards eternal life. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. Again, we love you. And we share this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.